evening all. Right, uh, new speed controllers and gyro in my uh, original brushless Big Llama. Uh, seems to fly okay. Have a look. Okay guys, the uh, thing to note here is it's rather marginal as far as wind is concerned. Oh, one of those swirly winds as well where it makes it hard to predict what to do for the best. Hopefully this is in frame. It, uh, it flies pretty good. Don't go too high because the uh, tops of the trees are swaying a little. Not a good sign. But, uh, hopefully I'm not shooting uh, a couple of minutes worth of uh, grass growing like my pal Jerry did. It does sort of go left. Uh, ooh, wind. I don't mean the sort that put paid to buy in shorts. Right, so this has got the uh, Turnigy GR302 AD gyro in it and uh, previously I had the Align RCE 550 gyro in it. I could tell in this flight and the couple that have just preceded it, they're testing it out, that they... The uh, turnage feels a little smoother but the Align gyro, the nose was locked in a bit better. Um, Which is probably for the best really, because uh, the Align Gyro has gone in my other Big Llama which I'm going to try and make smooth for aerial photography work. Work. Fun. Um, and this one's my uh, everyday flyer, my night flyer. It's got the LED kit on. The one that I'm going to race the radar control car with. Anyway, it flies pretty good. Dialed in pretty well. I'd recommend this setup to anyone. Uh, East Guy 3100 kV motors. Turnigy Plus uh, 18 amp speed controllers. Dynasys Design coaxial mixer. And the uh, Turnigy. GR302 gyro. Oh, and of course the Walcara 400D blade. Oh, I'm going to catch it. Because I forgot about my uh, timer. And the speed control was beginning to uh, start its low voltage cutoff. There we go. I hope you got that. I'm chuffed to bits with how this one flies. <laughs> 